Good afternoon, my name is Matt McLaren and welcome to my London office tour. Now this afternoon I am working from the King's Cross area. Um, you may recall this is the same area of London that I was in for my first video a couple of weeks back when I was in the Gridiron building. And if I just pan around the camera you will see uh, that that's where I am now, I'm just outside the Gridiron building. Um, but I'm not actually working from there today, that's where I was for my first video, the 8th floor of that building. Great view on the 8th floor terrace there. Um, but today I'm working from the Stanley building which is just behind me. Um, and that's a really great space, very different, very different style, very different feel to the building. Um, and I'll show you guys around in a moment. Before I do that though, I just wanted to say a brief word about the incident in Parsons Green this morning. Um, I am filming this on Friday the 15th of September and without wanting to jump to conclusions or speculate, uh, it does appear that there was something like an attempted terrorist incident there this morning. Um, that's not a part of London that I frequent, thankfully, uh, or indeed was there this morning. Um, though it has a very similar name to the area of London I do live in, which is Palmer's Green. Uh, that forced my mum to, to call me this morning in panic because she'd heard something on the radio and worried it was where I was, and thankfully it wasn't. Um, but obviously there were people that were caught up in that, and my, my heart goes out to them, and I do uh, have you know, nothing but warm wishes for those people who've been affected directly or indirectly by that incident this morning. Um, nevertheless, when these things happen, we have a choice. We have a choice between whether we're going to let that affect us, whether we're going to let it impact how we go about our day or whether we don't. Um, I had planned to come here today to go to the Stanley building to work here um, and to film this video among other things and, um, and I decided I was still going to do that, I was still going to get on the tube and head down here and, and do everything I planned to do. Um, and the more that we um, resist the temptation to change how we might otherwise live based on what terrorists may or may not want us to do, um, the better as far as I'm concerned. So yes, warm wishes for the people affected by that incident there in Parsons Green this morning. Um, but, uh, but well done, you know, every other Londoner uh, for, for going about their day, not letting it affect, not letting it affect their, uh, their outlook on life, I would hope. Anyway, um, that's the serious stuff taken care of. Let me now take you around the Stanley building behind me so you can see uh, the building that I'm talking about. And uh, the sooner I get in the basic, it's just starting to rain out here. Um, so, it's next door to this building, Granger & Co. Um, Nice little swanky entrance here with an automatic door. I'm going to need my security card to get through. Um, let me... People trying to say hello there. I think I was a bit rude. I should have said hello back. There we go. Open that. <laughs> my security card wasn't working. I'm going to try and, okay. try and talk quietly because... Um, I did get told off a short while ago because I was on the phone and uh, I had earphones in on the call and the, the person I was talking to was in a coffee shop that so was very, very loud and as a result I was speaking very, very loudly like as if I was talking over everyone in their coffee shop but I wasn't, I was here and as far as everyone else was concerned the only noise in this place was me talking at about 100 decibels so um, I will try and be quiet not to disturb people so let me just show you a sort of brief panoramic view so this is, I walked past it so let's go Say hello to reception. Um, I won't ask them to say anything because I talked to them earlier and I, I suggested I might ask them about working for the office group, but they all looked a bit shy. But this is the, the main office group reception. Give everyone a wave. There we go. <laughs> um, so that's what you see when you first come in the building. They're all very friendly, all very nice. Um, all the office group staff are, to be honest, uh, in all the buildings. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they're, they're particularly friendly today and uh, despite having to tell me off for being loud they were still very friendly about it which is good. So we've got obviously this nice little sofa corner here, it's a nice area you can work in if you want to sit with your laptop on your lap or if you want to sit down and meet with somebody. Um, interesting on a, on a sort of technical note, so the office group works by having different spaces or different types of space. So obviously if you're an office member as in you have a fixed permanent office then you have access to that that office, it's your office any time of day or night, as well as all the different spaces within the office group, including meetings and things like that. Um, but I am not uh, a permanent fixed office member. I'm what's called a co-working member, or Access Ambition rather, is, is a co-working member of the office group, and through Access Ambition I have access to what's called lounge and co-working spaces. And lounge spaces are just that, business lounge, but something like that. Um, and co-working spaces are areas where they're intended to be slightly more formal, slightly more space, desk space, powerpoints, everything for you to just actually sit there and work. Um, but this building doesn't have a co-working space. This is the whole building or the whole area I'm going to show you is what's called the lounge space. But actually, it is as good as 
a co-working space. Um, it really isn't lacking anything at all here. So uh, as somebody who's a co-working member, I'm quite happy to work here in this lounge space all day uh, and not have any problems doing that. So let me just show you around. We don't want my face covering. That's the stairways to upstairs. I will show you upstairs in a minute. But let me just show you around here first. So we have a nice little, um, nice little kitchen station here. Glasses, tea, coffee, um, Coke Zero for me in the fridge. I can't go a day without my Coke Zero. Um, and then we've got obviously tables, desks, sofa, another sofa. And these are funny little, these little like elevated, let me see if I can get the shot, elevated desks that I, I sat in them the other day actually, and it's a bit like <laughs> sitting suspended midair. Quite cool things, but um, interesting design. Um, I'm today tucked away in the corner actually, but next to a window is good, so I feel like I'm working outside without the, the wind and the rain. So this is my, my desk space today. And let me just take you around upstairs. And now the meeting rooms are upstairs, and there's also some more sort of sofa lounge type spaces as well. So um, I am going to not pay attention to what's on the screen while I walk upstairs, otherwise I risk actually falling down the stairs. So apologies that you you might have a very bad angle and a very bad view. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Just trying to get out of people's way. It's a bad thing about these videos. People think that there's this weird person wandering around with a selfie stick talking to himself. Ah, and here we go. Now the first thing I wanted to show you, so we've gone upstairs, is this this thing here. Right, I kid you not. Like, I, my sister has a thing about bridges. So apologies if she's watching this video and I'm outing her as a bridgephobic. She has a thing about bridges. Those, those little wooden bridges you walk over rivers. She always thinks they're gonna collapse. Right, I don't have anything like that. But every time I walk past this little bit, my heart jumps a bit. Let me show you why. Because you can see straight down, and it does actually look, if you're not paying attention, like you're, there's no floor. <laughs> and we are quite high up. So it does make me um, a bit nervous every time I cross that threshold. So um, let's have a look at what I can show you. So we've got a meeting room behind me, somebody in there, so I'm not going to dwell. I don't want to make them feel like they're in a goldfish bowl. So again, we've got a nice little, nice little space here to sit and have a meeting. That's one here. So actually, I hadn't really occurred to me to bring somebody here for a meeting. I would have thought to take them to the gridiron, which I, I already showed you guys. Um, but actually it's quite a nice space to sit and have a, a quiet meeting with someone one-on-one. -on -one. So I might well do that in the future. Uh, here's an empty meeting room, so let me show you that. Very nice. I cannot get the angle right when I'm using this thing. There you go. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Nice big table. A typical office group meeting room. Much bigger boardroom here. So there's been some people in here with lots of empty cups and things there. And um, I'll just show you the rest of the upstairs. The thing I like this, this building, I hate to use it because it's a bit like your dad saying cool, uh, but this building is very hip compared to, say, for instance, the gridiron, which is very, very corporate. This has a feel of a sort of young tech startup type headquarters place. Um, so it depends on what mood you're in, <laughs> whether you would enjoy being here or not. Uh, we've got this big kind of kitchen island type thing here. And essential microwaves, kettles, lots of glasses and hot water, cold water, etc. I know it seems like these things aren't important, but believe me, when you spend all day in an office, being able to have a cup of tea when you want an ice cold water on an otherwise boiling day is very important. Last meeting room here, very nice. So, there you have it. This is the Stanley Building. Um, the third stop, I think. Third stop on the London office tour, the office group buildings. Um, and um, I'm going to sign off now before I go downstairs, because whenever I go downstairs carrying this thing, I always do think I'm actually going to fall down, irrespective of any glass bits in the floor. Thank you for watching. As I said, um, my heart goes out to the people involved this morning in the Passers Greek incident. But the more each and every one of us can be determined to not let things like that affect or impact our day and get on with life as normal and say to be damned with the terrorists, 
then the better. That's as far as I'm concerned anyway. But thanks very much for watching and uh, do enjoy the rest of your day. This is a Friday, so hope you have, I hope you have a great weekend. And this is Matt McLaren signing off.